Yes, thank you, Mr. Chair. We cannot and will not allow our common values to be put at risk. The Commission will act. These were your words, Madam President, in this House in October last year during the debate on Poland. And those words were accompanied by clear demands, and you mentioned them today as well. The dismantling of the disciplinary chamber, ending the disciplinary regime for Polish judges, and the reinstatement of dismissed judges. Now, more than six months have passed since our debate in October. Plenty of time for the Polish government to show genuine commitment and implement the ECJ rulings. Plenty of time to meet minimum standards, as all member states of the EU must. However, sadly, six months later, none of this has happened. And despite this, the Polish RRF plan has now officially been approved. And this has simply been the wrong sequence. As much as there is something to say for jointly agreed milestones with strict deadlines, these conditions should have been fulfilled before the endorsement of the plan for Poland, which would have also given the Commission more time to evaluate the actual implementation of these commitments in practice. Fundamental values and the rule of law, much like ECJ rulings, cannot be the subject of negotiations. And we therefore expect a clear commitment today from the Commission that you will indeed act, that not a single euro will be transferred to the Polish government until there is a genuine, complete and irreversible implementation of the milestones, execution of the ECJ rulings and full respect for the primacy of EU law. Nothing less will do.